why is there ash in your or your pet's food? Well, in this case, crude ash doesn't refer to the ash left over from a bonfire. The ash in food is any inorganic mineral content left over when fats and proteins found in the food have been burned off or decomposed by your digestive tract. But in labs, the ash of a product is measured by heating a food to 550 to 600 degrees for four hours and marking its weight against the original weight of the food. This mineral content usually comes from the amount of bone, cartilage, tendons and the like that have been ground into the meal. Although it can be artificially increased if they grind in pure minerals, there are a lot of minerals in plants as well. So ash isn't a single ingredient, but a group of minerals that can be any combination of calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, silicon, sulfur or any other trace minerals. The reason it's mentioned on food levels is to help you get an understanding of the mineral content in the food. For example, humans need roughly 7% ash in a good meal, and generally, any natural foods will have less than 5% ash, while some processed foods or meats can have an ash content of more than 10%. This is why a lot of vegetarians and vegans have mineral deficiencies and need supplements. The foods they are eating just have smaller amounts of the ash and minerals that humans need. Ash Facts some fad diets focus on the pH of the ash in your food and claim that if you consume more alkaline ash, the pH of your blood changes and targets harmful cells such as cancer. This however is not the case, as the ash in your food you eat can only change the pH of your urine, but not your bloods or anything else in your body, and changing the pH of your blood would kill you very quickly as we're seeing with COVID-19. Dogs and cats require about 2-5% ash in their diet to meet their mineral needs, although many pet foods have an excess of 10% in their food. This isn't a bad thing, but what's in the ash is important. And that's why you should change what your pets eat periodically. Because even in foods where there are a lot of minerals, your pet may not be getting the right amount of what they need. If you overfeed a large breed dog when they're young, they can grow too quickly and develop issues with their joints. This is why you should feed large breed dogs food specific to their stage of the life cycle. If you feed a lizard too much ash, like insect chitin, then the lizard will build up minerals in its stomach called impaction, which is dangerous for their health. When cremating a human body, the resulting ash weighs about 1.4 to 4 kilograms depending on the bone density and the amount of bone burned. This means that the crude ash level of a human is about 3%. So let's get out there and eat some ash. Thanks for watching.